<laughs> oh my goodness. I am so excited today. This is Tracy Harrell. And this is bigger than me with Tracy Harrell, but we are focused on being very intentional today, as we always are. But today we're focused on being your best self. This is the Bigger Than Me success series, and our topic is achieving your best, most successful and powerful year yet. And I am with someone who knows all about having your best year yet, because he actually wrote a book that really helps each of us to go on a journey to live our best year yet. Bob, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us about this amazing book? <laughs> well, Tracy, thanks so much for having me here. It's, a, it's always a treat to be with you. Uh, the book is Twist the Throttle to Fuel Your Success. And it's uh, steps to get you from where you're at to where you want to be. It's, uh, you know, we don't always know how to get down that road, but this has got, got tools and things that kind of get us where we plan, where, where our heart desires us to be. Mm, I love that. And you have a book and you have a workbook. Plus, I've got a work. So the book itself has some workbook capabilities in it, but I also have a separate workbook nice. that so when uh, people want to write in it as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it, love it, love it. So today, what I asked you to do, I know you have a series. You're a coach. You're a, a a master life coach. We call you the Navy Seal of coaches. Am I right? Tell me about who you are, so they know that they're not just hearing from some handsome guy who looks like any number of celebrities. Well, I have a couple of things that I do. I do uh, <laughs> what I what I call success coaching, which is to kind of get you into it. Not everybody's ever had a coach. They don't know where to go with coaching. They're, you know, a little bit uh, maybe uncomfortable with it. And then the other side of that is high performance coaching, which is what you're talking about. So when you really want to go someplace, when this is, this is a, a have to in your life, that's when you bring in a high performance coach to get you where you really want to be. And you just need those extra steps. You need somebody to encourage you and to help you and to show you, hey, here's how we can go there. I love it. Love it. And, and you've been doing this work for a while. You have a lot of skills. Um, what would you say if you literally could go back and talk to younger Bob and you had one thing you could tell younger Bob about this idea of being successful? What is your one thing? And I'm just gonna let you get into your presentation. You can go ahead and bring it up and start your thing as you, as you transition. Tell us a little bit about what you would tell younger Bob. You know, it, I think we'd all, if we could go back and talk to our younger selves, we would we would change a lot of stories that we told ourselves that we we can't be. A lot of things that hold us back isn't who who we think we are, it's who we think we're not. Mm. And that's what holds us back when actually we're, we're better than we think. You know, a lot of people, even even stars, you talk to them and they even still have this, geez, they're going to find me out someday. They're going to find <laughs> out that I'm maybe not what what I think I am or what they think I am. And I think we all go through that a little bit. So it's just, it's getting over that, uh, that fear of who I'm not and realizing how powerful we really are. Mm. And that, and I, that starts off with, as you're saying, you know, let's, let's start with having a good year. So let me, uh, let me get into a presentation here. I love we it. We'll talk and about you, you, And you do know, I built my title for this series off of your series that you're doing the big the, the best year yet but mine is now the yeah, since i'm a success coach a certified success coach i wanted to add in a little a little extra you know something something to go on top of it but th th this is you know living your best most successful and powerful year yet is what i'm calling it but this is the blueprint and everything someone needs to be successful a blueprint exactly exactly well and and the thing that i love about a blueprint you know because um uh, and Tracy, you've heard me talk about this before. Uh, a lot of times we don't get what we want because we never really decided. We thought we did, but it was really kind of a mushy, soft, vague, foggy little thing out there. And, uh, and when they go to build your house, when they go to build your apartment, when they go to build, you know, wherever you're, whatever building you're in now. They didn't just kind of, you know, all right, let's clear the land. Let's do some stuff. I'm going to bring a couple of cement trucks in here. And I don't know, maybe I'll have them put some cement over here and then we'll go over <laughs> there. And I don't know. What do you think this should, what if we did? Yeah, they don't do that. They have a blueprint. That blueprint is down to the inch. It, they know exactly where the electrical is going to go. They know where the plumbing is going to go. Nothing is a surprise mm -hmm. when they go to build that. So I think we need to be like that when we do our, our, uh, 
our goals in our life because otherwise we end up with this fuzzy thing and we're not sure where we're at with it so so that's why i like to call the blueprint because it's specific it will get us where we want to go when we're done the house is built hmm. it's not oh geez, a roof i didn't even think about that that's not the case <laughs> we have it down so we can get where we want to go and that's what the that's what the contractors do so uh, let's jump it. in here let's talk about having your best year yet and how we're going to get there okay so let me go back i just you know i think about the last what we're like six weeks away from two years into covid i mean who knew 2020 was going to be the year of covid oh that's right who knew 2021 was going to still be the year of covid and who knows what's going to happen now in 2022 we're still kind of in those throws, you know, we could be talking a year from now, we still might be a little bit, you know, clamped down, I guess I'd call it in what's going on in life. So my question is, what would it take to make 2022 your best year yet? A lot of people, you know, the new year comes like, geez, I just, I hope it's better than last year. It's got nothing to do with hope. It's got to do with planning and being intentional and wanting it to be. That's like saying, I hope I lose weight. Well, that's got, <laughs> we're not going to lose weight until we make a plan. We're not going to get in shape until we make a plan. We're not going to graduate college unless we make a plan. It doesn't just, geez, I hope they give me my degree. No, you have to take the classes, pass the classes, do the things. If we don't do the things, whatever it might be, whether it's in our job, whether it's in our relationships, whatever it is, it doesn't just happen. So my next question is not would it, would it take, but what's it going to take to make 2022 your best year yet? We have to have a plan. There's no hoping and then have it just magically appear. That's not how that works. So how's 2022 gone so far? How's the road been for you so far? It's been sunny. It's been nice. We're, you know, two weeks plus into it. But just around the bend up there, just around over there where you can't see, there might be some big pothole. The road might be washed out. There's a deer in the middle of the road. Who knows what's over there? And that's the same thing for us. We're, we're early in January. It's a big year ahead. How are we going to plan? Are we sure our brakes are working on the car? Are we sure that we know where we're headed? Are we sure that we can hear what we need to hear? We have to be in tune. We have to have a plan going forward. Okay, so what would it take it to make this your best year yet? Let me give you some, some numbers here to start with. According to the University at Scranton, a whopping 92% of people who set New Year's goals, and by goals, I'm going to say resolutions. A lot of people do New Year's resolutions. They never actually achieve them. Okay. That, that's a huge number. It's that's a huge a big number. number. So, so 92%. What, what, so is, so of what? 10 of you, only <laughs> less than one of you is going to make it work. Wow. So, so that's why we're doing this work. Why, that's why we're being so intentional this year. We're saying if we stay with it, stay connected week by week by week. It's in the doing that people be, or become what they want to become or achieve what they want to achieve. So I'm excited about mm -hmm. that, but thank you for sharing that. We're going to defy the odds this year. Here you go. Here's another one for you. So according to the research, less than 3% of Americans have written goals and less than 1% of those review them and rewrite them on a regular basis. Wow. So here's, here's the difference between, um, and Tracy, I think you've heard me talk about this before, but, uh, you know, when we say, uh, if I ask somebody, in fact, I, uh, a while back, I was in a, an Uber with somebody and, and we got talking about goals. And I asked, you know, do you have goals? And they said, yes. And I said, are they written down? And they said, no. And I said, well, then that's not really a goal as much as it's a dream. Right. A goal is a dream with a timeline. You right. wrote it down and you said, I'm going to hit this by this particular time. I have a dream of someday going to Greece. You know, 10 years from now, I might have that same dream. But if I make it a goal to say, I'm going to be there in five years, now I'm starting to work towards it. And I have the opportunities to make that. Otherwise, it just floats out there as a dream the whole time. It's just a hope. I hope this is my best year yet. I hope this is better than last year. 
We have to write things down. And here's just a quick little note. Between the people who just hope and, and say they have goals, but they haven't written them down, and the people yes. who write them down and review them, you have 1,100% more chance of hitting your goal. 1,100%. Well, there you go. So I guess Big you difference. heard it here, people. Step one, write it down. So yeah. Write it down and put some timelines next to it. Exactly. Thing right. one. Got so it. So there you go. All right. <clears throat> so what's it going to take? You know, it takes, a again, it takes a plan. We talked about that. And we move forward because of our plans. So let's get into a blueprint and how that's going to help us move forward. I love Tony Robbins. I love what he does and what he kind of, how he moves people. And I love this saying, be the creator of your life, not the manager of your circumstances. So many times, all we do is we're just putting out fires every day in our life. And we just hope tomorrow, the fires aren't as big as they were today. Be the creator, have a plan, get the blueprint going so you can move forward. Are you going to have fires? You bet you're going to have fires. We all have hiccups in the road. But be the creator of your life, not just the manager of your circumstances. I love that. And I think, Bob, the one thing I think a lot of people kind of get hung up on is they don't realize that they are the creator, that their thoughts become mm -hmm. things. I think they don't, they think they really do believe that they're just kind of the, the victim of whatever happens around them, as opposed to saying, if I'm intentional in this, I'm going to write down this goal and then I'm going to do the things that it takes to achieve the goals. Like the creator exactly. really means do the work. Plan oh, yeah. the work and work the plan. Mm -hmm. and, and it's exactly what it is. It's, you know, whether it's, again, in a relationship, whether it's in a job performance, whether it's, you know, in your neighborhood, we're in charge. We have to take charge and be the one to say, sheesh, I, 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 I hope the vegetables grow. Well, if you don't water them, you don't take care of them, it, just, it's a, it's a, it isn't just going to happen, you know, or you lay a piece of wood on the, on the table saw and say, well, I hope it cuts itself into the shelves I need. No, Bob, what I like about you, you're officially it. turning hope into a four letter word on this show right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's do take action. I love it. It's all it. about I love action. It. it is. It's all about it. Okay. So just real quick, people are like, well, who is this guy? Well, I'm all about improving myself, being the best I can be. And I love teaching and encouraging others to go after their dreams. How many of us still have a dream and we forgot about it because we had to get a job. We got married, we had a family, uh, now you got a mortgage, you got, you know, rents due, uh, car payments are due. And next thing you know, you're 35, you're 45, you're 55. And you're like, oh no, I still have this dream. <laughs> you know, it might be the dream of going to Greece. It might be the dream of whatever it is, owning your own business, whatever it is. But it got put aside because you had these other things. I'm all about getting back in touch with your dreams and having it bring you along the way. Um, like my, last slide real quick. I want to just yeah. highlight a word that you had in capital letters. When I first met you, remember what you gave to me? Oh, <laughs> the bracelet? <laughs> you gave me a bracelet. You and your wife <laughs> uh, gave me and Ken a, a bracelet that had the word others on it in capital letters. Mm -hmm. And you and I are both motivated by the others, helping others. Why is that so important? Why is that word so important in, in our lives? Well, because it's not about us. At the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about how we make other people feel. When they leave us, do they feel enriched or do they feel like, holy smokes, that was, <laughs> that was degrading, that was painful, that was, you know, that didn't enrich my life at all. So yeah, I still, I have worn that for years. <laughs> I still have them. And it just reminds me that it's not about me. I it's about it. how I leave people and how I make them feel in this world as we all go through it and try to, you know, make the um, make our way through this maze of things that happens. I love it. And now you guys see why. Thank you, Bob, for that. You see why and who I bring on this show. Like it's called Bigger Than Me for a reason, right? And so these are the people like we're just perfectly aligned. And Bob, keep going. I love it. I love you and I love everything about you. So thank you. Oh, thank you. And if you ever need another bracelet or if some of your I viewers do. want it, I do. I, get, I got my uh, stuff, uh, my uh, email at the end. Let me know. I love and, it. Uh, Palmermotivation.com is how you find this guy. But yes, yes, yeah. yes. I'll get you some. In fact, I've got a bag full of them right here. <laughs> 
great reminder. So anyways, my, my lovely bride and I uh, co-authored a book, Twist the Throttle, to fuel your success, which you saw earlier. But I'm a speaker, I'm a trainer, personal uh, growth coach, certified uh, high performance coach. I just, I love seeing people grow and learn to be who they can be. It's just a, a for me, it's a big deal. Um, we'd love it if you'd like us and then follow us on Palmer Motivation on Facebook. I've always got the encouraging notes and things uh, going out there. So here's where we're at. If I teach you something that you can use today, can I give you some free stuff at the end? Tracy, are yes. you okay with that? You okay with totally free stuff? We love free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we yes. all love free stuff. So that's what we'll do. So as long as I as long as I fulfill that, we'll make something happen here. Okay. Love it. Okay. So here's a couple of my friends. <laughs> so you ask, how deep's the mud? Well, it depends on who you are. It depends on where we're at mm. in life. Right. Because some of us, when we go through life, and so when we go through COVID. We're up to our necks, just like my little buddy here. And, <laughs> and somebody else skates through it and doesn't understand why everybody's having problems with it. I and love it. It's not just COVID, but it's life. Sometimes life is hard for some people and other people, it's not that difficult. So the thing I'm going to ask as we learn and we go through and we start making this our best year yet, learn to add grace. Mm. Just give people a chance to breathe and say, okay, I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know where you're at in life, but I'll just give you the grace for what happened there and this and that. I, uh, you know, and I, I forget, I, you know, I had an interaction with a guy on a phone earlier this week that, you know, he kind of just tweaked me a little bit and I probably didn't give him as much grace as I should, <laughs> but, but it's something that we, I think we need to keep in mind that you know i love it because we don't know where people come from and again some of us it's up to our necks and others we don't hardly even know so keep right. that in mind as we go through to make our best year yet so i'm going to encourage you whatever it is whether it's my training somebody else's training tracy's training take notes and review the notes within 24 hours if you can because this that just helps ingrain them in us and yeah. science teaches us if you can write them down as opposed to typing because i know some of you say geez i type way faster than i write or i can at least read it or something i understand that science teaches us if you actually write it out it has somehow scientifically more neurological blah blahs and we <laughs> we remember yeah. it more so yeah. uh, but however you do it just take notes because here here's the trick with notes on any given day, you'll forget 67% of what you hear within 24 hours. And a week from now, 97% of that's gone. Wow. Notes will help you go back after that and, and bring it. That's why some of you can't tell jokes because you just don't remember them. It all, it all goes that. away. It, it just kind of disappears. I, okay. I love this. I'm an extreme note taker. Um, so I do know it works. So I'm, I'm, t I'm giving you a testimony like, yes, yes, yes. Agreed. I've seen you take notes before and you are, you are <laughs> amazing at taking notes. Okay. So here we go. Remember, we don't get what we want because we never decided what we want. So as we, you know, as we move forward and again, this isn't that I, well, no, I decided when, well, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you talk to somebody who, uh, I think I, I'm going to get a new car. Oh, great. What are you going to get? Well, I don't know yet. Okay, you haven't really decided that. You're thinking about it, but you haven't decided. And in our minds, a lot of times we think that's the decision when it hasn't been the decision. F uh, vague, foggy, soft goals will get us vague, foggy, soft answers. Outcomes. All right, right. that's the results we're going to get. So more specific we are, the better we're going to be. So here, we're going to start off right now. Let's get specific. I want you to list five things that you want to have better in 2022 than you had in 2021. Let's hey Bob, decide. I'm going to do this. Bob, Bob, I'm actually going to do this, and then we're going to come back uh, and check in on an incremental basis. I'm, I love it. Uh, but I'm going to let you finish for everyone else, and I'm writing my list down right now. All righty. You go ahead. I'll give you a minute. We're talking about whatever it might be, um, whether it's, you know, uh, you need more money. Well, people say, I just want more money. Great. So if I come over and give you a dollar, you have more money. And you're like, no, that's not what I want. Then be specific. You want $100 a month? You want $100 more a week? You want $10,000 more in a year? What do you, how much more money do you want? You want your relationship better? What do you want better about your relationship? Be specific. 
list five things that you want better in 2022. Do you need to take a commercial break here? <laughs> I'm good. You want me to tell you my thing? So yeah. number one, I'm going to release a minimum of 50 pounds by December of next year. Number next year two, or this year? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. December of 2022. So thank you very much. By December. Being... A little vague. When in December? December 31st of 2022, when I weigh in. At what time? At the, at, when I weigh in at noon. Bingo. At 12 noon on December 31st, I'm going to be 50 pounds lighter than I am right now. Okay, here's a better one. So sure. not knowing where you're at, I'm going have to a be, goal of, I want to be at uh, there you go. So whatever I'm it, it is. And I'm not going to universe. make you tell us. I got to put it out to the universe because there's, the, there's a factor that's critical. So I think, you know, I weighed in live on my show at 300 pounds. I like okay. literally was over. I think it was at 303 as my maximum number. So I will weigh in at 250 or less. Sweet. By December 31st at noon, 2022. I don't have to list all okay. my goals, but that's definitely one of them. From a business perspective, my business will have created profits in the amount of at least $100,000, at least in December of 2022 noon. And I'm in a negative balance on one of my accounts. So I got some issues. Mm -hmm. Just putting it out there into the universe. Um, uh, from a personal perspective, I'm going to have less stuff around me. And that's probably a little bit, a little vague. That's a little I'm, vague. I'm yeah. going to be able to move into a smaller place if I chose to. Um, so I'm going to get rid of one third of the, the, the number of bins that I have in my garage okay. and my uh, storage unit. So at least one third of the content that I have bins, number of bins, I have 75. So I will have at least 30. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. See, those are, those are specifics. Yeah. And that's exactly yeah. what you need to do. Excellent. Excellent. Nice work. That Look good? at you. Is that a good start? That is a great start. Excellent. So, so, so we got your, the list. So get your five things written down. And if you don't have five, go back and do it. Because so many times we go to trains and we don't go back and finish whatever it is. Go back and finish this five because that's going to help you get the best year you want. All right. So here we go. So I want you to fold your hands like, like you see on the screen here. So fold your hands. Now I have, when I do that, I have my, my right thumb is on top. Okay. So what, what thumb do you have on top, Tracy? Right. You have your right. So you're just like me. Okay. So for those of us who have our right thumb on top, we're the thinkers. Okay. Yep. Now for some of you, you'll have your fingers different and you'll have your left thumb on top, right? These are the, these are the sexy people. Okay. <laughs> Now, some there's always somebody, there's a couple of people or just one person in the room who they don't put either thumb. They have them side, side by side. By side. Right. These are the people who just think they're sexy. <laughs> okay, none of that is science-based, but it's always fun. So anyway, so you got your hands folded, all right? Okay, so now I want you to unfold your hands. Right. Kind of move your fingers. Now put your hands back together. Okay, now unfold them. Move your fingers, put them back together. Okay, one more time. Unfold them, put them back. All right. Did you do it the same every time? Is your yeah. right thumb always on top? Or yes. if you're a lefty, your left thumb's always on top? Yeah, that's a habit. We all have habits. We all do things out of habits. Some of our habits are made to protect us. Like, you know, we have knife habits. So when we're cutting in the kitchen, we, you know, we're doing it a particular way. So we don't right, cut right, ourselves, right. we don't hurt ourselves. Right. We have, you know, habits around ch uh, chainsaws and skill saws and whatever it might be, but we right. have some habits to help us. Some of our habits hold us back. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like Tracy. I, I have a habit of putting too much food in my mouth. Okay. And then it results in something I don't like. And it's, uh, you know, and I'm always trying to, I'm always fighting that and changing it. I'm in the process of making huge changes with it right now. And it's starting to pay off. Um, but some habits don't, don't work for us. And they hold us back from other things, from getting the results we want. So here's what I want you to do. You got your hands folded. Okay. I want you to move all your fingers to the other way so that other thumb goes on top mm -hmm. whichever way you need to do that if your left yep. thumb then Got move it. it so your right thumb blah 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 yes so how's that feel fine fine little, look little, at you little, most little, of the time people are like dude that's weird it's crazy it's, weird. Why would it's I... slightly weird yeah yeah okay why would i yeah you know it's kind of like mm, it's yucky it's like oh, that's uncomfortable here's here's the interesting thing if you held your hands like that for five minutes you wouldn't even notice it 
it wouldn't be uncomfortable anymore. We would get used to doing it that way, all right? Here's the trick. We need to change something to make it different than it was. If we keep doing things the same way all the time, nothing changes. Remember, that's the old uh, uh, the adage of uh, the definition, of insanity. definition of, of <laughs> yeah. insanity, doing yeah. the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Yeah. If I keep eating the way I have been eating the last you know, 10 years, how can I expect to have different results? I'm just, I'm fooling myself, okay? So we have to do that. Now, remember, sometimes change is hard for some people. So what if we change the word to adjust? Maybe that's easier. Do whatever you need. Tell yourself whatever you need to tell yourself to get yourself to make some changes, to make some adjustments. It's just like going down the road. I don't know if any of you have, have uh, driven through Nevada. I've driven through Nevada several times. And you kind of, you know, it's pretty flat in Nevada, but there'll be little rises and little, and you go over rise and as far as you can see, I mean, miles ahead, it's just as straight as can be. But as you drive that, you're changing your wheel just a little bit. You make little tiny adjustments. It's the same in our life. If we don't make the adjustments, next thing you know, we're off the road. We're in the ditch. We're, right. you know, we look at ourselves and we're like, holy smokes, Bob, you, you, were, you were 25 pounds lighter 10 months ago. What did you <laughs> right. do to yourself? You're know, not you, going you, in the right direction. Yeah, I put myself right back where I was again. So we have to make the adjustments to keep ourselves on the road that we need to be on. We are all products of our past, but we don't have to be prisoners of it. Sometimes we think we can't change anything. Yeah. We're just refusing to change. Okay. Right. So back here we go. Decisions. We're going to start back off. To those decisions you were talking about, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So we made our five things that we want to have changed. All right. So let's, let's start by helping ourselves out at the start of the day. All right. Start right. your day off in 2022. We're going to start it off right. Now, this is about a 10 minute scenario. This is this is just part of what I do for my uh, high performance uh, clients, yeah. but it's it's useful stuff. So I kind of kind of skimmed off the top here. All right, so I put this in my calendar. It's on my calendar, which shows up on my phone, which shows up on my computer, whatever. I'm a big electron. I live and die by my calendar. Okay, so right. that's where I put it. Put it wherever you need to put it. Yes. Okay. So use whatever works for you. For me, it's my calendar because I can, I can access it anywhere I'm at, all right? So you ask yourself every day, what will get me excited today? What is it about today that will get me excited? And maybe it's the fact that maybe you just came off, uh, you know, you've been sick for a while and you couldn't get out of bed. And today you're able to get out of bed. Right. Well, that's huge. We, we forget about that when we're well, but when we're sick, just getting out of bed is huge. Maybe it's, you know, you get to see your, uh, your spouse, you get to see your partner. Uh, maybe you have a meeting at work, whatever, whatever it is, what is it about today that can get you excited? And then you write that down. You don't just think about it. You have to write these things down. You have to get them out of your head and written down. And then who do I want to be? Some of you are perpetually late. Some of you are perpetually I don't know, it's rude, you know, or <laughs> short with people or right. whatever, whatever it is that you do. Is that who you want to be? Is oh. that who you want to be known for? Because some people are just known for being late. I have right. a, I have a friend of mine, uh, and, you know, the thing, Hey, I just saw, you know, oh, what's his name right down the road. And they says, he's coming. I said, as soon as you see him walk through the door, he's coming. I don't care if you just saw him a <laughs> hundred feet from the door until he gets here, he's not coming. I don't care what he told you. And that's how it's, he's always been. I still love him, but I don't count on him. I don't plan on him. Wow. I would never give him anything important in my life to do. As much as I love him, that's just who he is, right? So who do you want to be? And I think this one to me, Bob, is so important. When I think about the work that I'm doing as well, it's like, I'm, you know, I think I said something earlier and I talk about fit Tracy and I, and I, I don't know if I have it right here. I think I do. But I was I was talking about this this girl that I was back then. You know how when you talked about the vision boards, mm -hmm. and I'm like, this is all, this is who I want to be. Like if I visualize Fit Tracy, she was a um, you know she was a size nine ten wearing a dress that was actually a size seven eight. So look at you. that's look the girl right you. there, nice. right? Nice. So I'm like, who do I want to be? Fit 
Tracy. Now that was me nice. as a freshman in, in college. So the idea of so that was like two, three years ago. Just not not just right, just not that long ago at all. Right. Exactly. But literally, that's who I think about. So now that I'm literally mm-hmm. on this journey and I'm putting my business out in the street, and I'm saying this is and, and I'm actually linking the work I'm doing with inclusion to this fit Tracy. Mm. Because what I'm saying is I have allowed myself not to focus on this thing for so long. You know, that it became, uh, you know, it was like, okay, to say one thing and do something different. Well, that's what's happening in business right now. That's what happens in corporate America. So I'm like, I get it. I empathize. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. But if I can do this, then you can do that. Right. right? Like If I can be intentional Mm -hmm. and just take actions every day and I can do this, that means you can be intentional and do things that are different, that are going to feel different, like you said, left lefty righty whatever it's in doing who do i want to be i want to be this person right here i want to be the closest to that person i can without any Mm -hmm. extra so i'm going to do the work so thank you for the to me that that's huge the who do you want to be yeah because it changed you know again it's this whole deal we do this because it's comfortable right we love our comfort zones but nothing grows outside of our comfort zones if you stayed in your comfort zone you would you know if they didn't push us in school right we would still all be in kindergarten There would be very few of us who would have gone beyond that because nobody pushed. They pushed us through first grade into second grade into third grade. And we just kind of learned automatic. But if they just left it to us on our own, none of us would have gone there because we just that's not who we are. I love what you just said. Nothing grows outside of our comfort zone. That's right. It just doesn't because it's comfortable. No, love it. Love it. Okay, so the next thing you ask yourself, who needs me to be on my A game? today Mm. who needs me it might be my spouse it might be my kids might be my neighbor maybe it's my boss maybe it's the it's the guy on the other cubicle next to me right who needs me on my a game because somebody does because so often all we do is bring our b game or our c game we're not working that hard we're not trying that hard Mm. now we might tell ourselves oh i worked hard today but it's like really (laughs) <laughs> really did you really? break a sweat it was like okay <laughs> look i was on facebook for three hours come on that's hard who needs you on your a game you got to start getting used to bringing your a game so who needs that? that the next thing you ask yourself who can i surprise with a note today maybe i write a note and i put it in the mail maybe i just send a text maybe i call who can i surprise with a note saying hey you came across my mind i love that we're friends i miss you we need to get together. We need to talk. We need to call. We need to do something. Anyways, I'm just thinking about you and I hope you're having a great day. This is just a short little boom. I'm thinking about you. You're important to me. Who can you kind of help make their day? Who can you surprise with a note? I love this one. There's two books that I love that this comes out of. So one of the books is uh, Deepak Chopra, his book, The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success. And he talks about the law of giving. He's like, whoever you meet, give them a compliment, give them a prayer, mm-hmm. you know, think positive thoughts, whatever it is. And I love that it really does take your, your, your journey to another level. And, and Disney, you know, I worked 14 years at Disney, but they have this surprise and delight. It's like a core principle for customer right. service, but it's also a surprise and delight is an idea for the human beings that we associate with right Mm -hmm. i love it thank you for that it's just you know again it's a little thing but it can be a huge thing if every day you're you're elevating people you're like Mm -hmm. you're you're everyone's everyone wants to be around you (laughs) sure because you make them feel good right right Right. i love it so your next one how can i show excellence how can i show value it might be at work it might be at home how can you know if, if somebody, you know, is, is your, um, you know, whether it's a roommate or whether it's a spouse or a partner, whatever, whatever it is, are they always asking you to take the trash out? Can you just do that on your own? Can you show a little value here? Could you just step it up and say, oh, let me just do that for Let me just, without having to be asked, you know, you're, you're, you're 45 and they're still asking you to take the trash out. <laughs> 60 and they're still asking you, what? <laughs> At some point in time, you know, how can you show excellence? How can you show value? And then the last one, how do you want to feel at the end of the day? And, and I mean, I want you to write these things down. I don't want you just to look at them and answer them. I want you to write them down. How do I want to feel when I crawl into bed at the end of the day? Do I, what's the feelings I want to have? Do I want to feel like I was, I survived it. And once again, my C game made it work. My B game made it work. Or do you want to feel like I crushed it today? 
I made it happen. I made this people feel good. I brought that, you know, area of excellence. I did, what, what is it that you want to feel at the end of the day? That gets you set up to have a successful day. And when you start having successful days, guess what? You're going to have a killer year. It's just right. how that goes. All right. I, I, I love what you just said. When you have successful days, you're going to have a killer year. Day after day, that accumulated effect. Them up, yeah. yeah, I love it. And you don't, you know, and next thing you know, you're like, this is working. And it works fast. I mean, it works fast because you start your day different. Okay, here's three more things I want you to do here. I want you to list out, and I want, again, you got to write these out on your, whether you're writing them in your calendar, you're writing them in your, uh, your journal, whatever it is, your three top goals, your three top priorities, and they're going to reach back and they're going to connect with those five that we did earlier. The five things you want to have happen to make this a better year yet, then what are the three top priorities? And two of them or all three of them might be in one of those five that you need to get done today, maybe. Now, don't confuse these with your have tos. I have to get the lawn done. I have to do the laundry. I have to empty the dishwasher. Those are totally different. Those aren't moving you forward. Those are just keeping life working, all right? So these are real goals and priorities, not the have tos. So don't confuse those. I, I, lo I love that. Okay. I love, love, love that you made that point of clarification. There's a book that I'm writing right now, this concept, what some of the elements of this, thing that we're doing with this bigger than me success series is basically laying out a, a, a blueprint, laying out a, um, a roadmap, a, a project plan. So you just said if every day you identify the top three things that you're going to do that align to your top five goals, guess what? If you have that every day, to your point, mission accomplished. You start getting them done. Next thing you know, it's like, yeah, it's March and one of your five is done. Done. Like, I've already done that. Yes. Now I got four left. I mean, it's right. amazing. Yeah. And you might find that by, you know, August or September, all five of them are done. Well, you have time then in the meantime, or at that point, what are there three more you want to change? I you know, because it. you're rolling. I mean, things you just, when you're rolling, you feel like it. And so, it's so, so now I'm going to, I'm going to ask you that question. So as people start to do things, don't you think we start to do too much? So you're basically saying, stick with the five, don't add five more. Don't add two. Once you get one done, stick with those five, stay focused. Is that your thought primarily? Yes and no. Okay. Yes and no. I think so often, uh, we we do we over plan for what we can do in a year and we under plan what we can do in 10 years you know kind of a thing so don't get so much that you get burned out and you just sheesh i can't get anything done so now i'm just going to sit on the couch and eat uh, cheetos don't do that to yourself that's why you know work on three at a time don't yes. work on all five and think I've got, because once you start breaking them down and I teach this in some of my other trainings is, you know, we call, chunk it down. It's like, you know, the old, how do you, uh, how do you eat an elephant? One, One bite, bite at a time. time. You don't just take the whole thing in. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. So you have to figure out, here's my goal. Uh, let, let's just take an example. I want to, you know, one of your goals is to make $10,000 more this year than last year. Okay. All right, so how do we do that? Well, if we divide uh, uh, 10,000 by 12, you know, we get it down to whatever that might be, $800 a month. Okay, I need 800 a month. How many weeks in a month? Four. Divide 800 by four. All right, now I need 200 a week. You know, boom, boom, boom. How do you, and it's like, okay, that's an easier number to understand. How can I make 200 a week? And then you divide that by five, you know, but right. I need, you know, X amount of dollars a day. So you get it to where it's a workable scenario as you move forward rather than just overwhelming yourself with i'm going to eat this big up i need ten thousand dollars right now no 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 yeah. we're going to get that over the year or ten thousand or whatever it is. but to chunk it down make it make it into bites that you can understand and you can actually get done love it does that help you 100 percent. okay i got another one for you here now every sunday put this on your sunday one i want you to look at your upcoming week so many of us don't do that. Look at your week so you know what's ahead. Oh, sheesh, that's right. I got to take Johnny to the dentist on Thursday. I completely forgot. Well, this gives you a chance to look at your week, plan around it. You know, oh, I told my wife I was going to take her, you know, out on a, just for coffee. Just, you know, we can't afford anything else. We can afford a cup of coffee and we need the time, just the two of us. So let's plan that. Put it on your schedule. Just look at your week. And then you set your top three things that you need to accomplish in the next 90 days, which again, ties to your five. 
what do I need as I've chunked these things down over the next 90 days that I need to get accomplished? And you might accomplish one of them in three weeks. And then you go on to your next one. But you've always got three things that you're working on to get you there. And th this I love. This I know foolproof. I mean, as a project manager, my everything is a project in my head, a vacation, whatever it mm -hmm. might be. But, but I don't necessarily, I haven't been as intentional. And if I have been intentional in some areas of my life, right. I clearly have not been intentional in other areas. And I think that's the thing, Bob, right? We, we, we focus mm -hmm. on the business and we don't focus right. on the fitness or we focus on the, you know, something, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and then the family gets neglected. So really that idea of also making sure you're spreading the wealth, right? You're, you're doing a little bit of the, the, the work in, in each of the areas of your life. Right. Because it does. It gets because life happens. You're going to get like, oh, sheesh, I don't have the time to work over here. I need to focus over there. Now I need to get back to it. So you have to make adjustments for things. Yes, right? For you just sure. have to understand it without beating ourselves up over it. As long as we're being intentional and as long as we're saying, look, we're doing this. I'm not making excuses for, you know, I'm just going to play, uh, you know, the victim here and not right. move forward. Love so it. the next thing and, and this helps me a lot. I think a lot. It helps a lot of people. You got to, you know ask yourself, what do I need to learn to make my life better? What do I need to learn to make my business better? What do I need to learn to make my relationship better? They've all, you know, whether it's a relationship or just my life or my neighborhood or, or what, you know, whatever it is, what do I need to learn that I'm not, either I don't know or I'm not doing now, you know, maybe, um, maybe, maybe you find, you know, you're running a business or you're working in somebody else's business as part of your job, but, you know, you don't understand how to work an Excel spreadsheet as good as you could. But if you spent, you know, 15 minutes a day, each day next week, by the end of the week, you will have saved yourself over a year, um, you know, a week's worth of grief of wrestling with a spreadsheet because you just learned how to do it in just 15 minute chunks uh, online. So and maybe, uh, you know, you take a word class or you, you, you learn another language because you have so many clients that, you know, speak Spanish or whatever it is. It's like, if you knew Spanish better, you could, you know, you kind of lost that one client because they really needed somebody who understood them better than you understand them. So, you know, maybe it's a business class. You're running your business and you're not really as good at it as you, you could be. There's maybe an online course or something at Bellevue College or whatever it is. But, you know, here's an, another adage that I love is, you know, if you want to earn more, learn more. Love it. You will you just whatever. What can I add? What do I need to learn? Because we all need to learn. There's not a place in our lives that we can't get better. I, you know, I can, I can get better in my relationship with my lovely bride. I can get better in my relationship with my kids. I get better in my relationship with my parents. I get better. There's always some place, whether it's at home, whether it's in the neighborhood, whatever it is, that we can get better. You know, Spend you know, some I love time this looking one. for that. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I love this one, Bob, and you and I are very much like like people hang around with like people. So this is like a right. no brainer, mm -hmm. right? We're lifelong long learners. If you say something, it's like yes, yes, yes. But even the the people at the top of their game, coaches have coaches. Um, you know, Tiger you know, Woods when he was at the top of his game had a, a swing coach and a backhand coach, and I mean tennis. I'm, I'm mixing tennis and golf, but between Serena Williams and Tiger oh, yeah. Woods, they all have coaches for the different parts of their game. So they if were you learning, to... even though they were great, mm -hmm. they were learning on a regular. So I, I love that. Thank you for that. Well, what it's funny because I do. I use I use uh, Serena Williams in some of my training stuff. So like, you don't you, if you think she in the morning grabs a bucket of tennis balls and goes out to a cement wall and hits the thing <laughs> against the wall. And that's how she trains. You're mistaken. Uh, it's you know, uh, I work with the uh, the Seattle Seahawks. And when you go on the, the Seahawks and take any NFL team, it doesn't matter. You take any NFL team or any professional team team the seahawks have 27 coaches listed on there now keep in mind these guys are professionals they've been probably playing football since they were in fifth grade at the latest high school you think they don't know how to play football no they know how to play football but there's coaches and each one of those guys like russell wilson our uh, our quarterback yeah. He has three of his own that he pays himself besides the other coaches on the team. And he does that to stay on the top of his game. There's not a CEO in this country that doesn't have a coach. There just isn't. 
because you know, they you know, know we, somebody they need somebody to push them and see things that they're not seeing i love that. and that's actually the reason why i decided to become a certified success coach while i'm doing this inclusion work because it is important. We also we've been saying things, right? Mm-hmm. Aspirational things, but but a lot of leaders and executives, it, you know, it's they're they're unable to achieve the goals that they want because there's a, some blind spots, and I, and I, mm-hmm. and they can't keep doing what they've been doing because they're going to get what they got, right? Which is called the right. status quo, right? And so yeah. I love I love that, and I, and I love I love. It. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. What got you here won't get you there. Won't get you there. Exactly. It just won't. You know, again, it's just, and, and take anybody who, whether they're at the gym or not, if you had somebody else, when you went to the gym, pushing you and saying, all right, let's do this, let's do that. Are, do you think a, a coach at the gym would get you where you want to be faster than you doing it yourself? There's very few people who would not say yes to that. They, somebody will always help us get there. That's, that's why I have, I just hired a, a, a group to help me, um, this month, I just started with them, and they've already shown me stuff that's like, oh, sheesh, I didn't know that. I did. And it's stuff that I've got. They went out to my website and said, here, let's look at this. Let's do this. So coaches are invaluable, just invaluable. Now, keep in mind, <laughs> I'm not telling you success is easy. I'm telling you it's simple, but it's not easy. These, you know, the things I had you do during in the morning, those are simple things. It's not easy all the time to remind yourself to get in there and do that but once you do it once you start making a habit of it you know it's a habit and you don't think about it and it's comfortable and you do it because you know we're not all rich thin and happy because, not, not quite you know, I, I, because it's, it's not I, as easy as we think it's simple but it's not easy so bob do you like the idea of me putting myself out there as a coach saying oh by the way this is what success looks like. It's taking the action and just actually taking the action. I mean, the idea mm-hmm. of saying it's not simple, but it is easy when you do the work, when you consistently right. do the work. I'm not typically, mm-hmm. I used to pride myself and say, I'm not a check box checker, but I need to be checking some boxes when it comes to right. things like waking up and do, you know, that consistency. We all do. Is we have consistent. to. Yeah, I love it's it. It's just, you know, I think we all sometimes like to think of ourselves as being better than we are at a bunch of things, but being real and being honest with ourselves is just as important as being honest, you know, have, trying to help somebody else. It's like, hey, if I need help, I'm, I need to get a coach. I need to get a trainer. I need to get a whatever it is I need to get to keep me in my game so I can get other people on their game. So yeah, I think we all need somebody to say, hey, you're not really doing what you said you were going to do. And I talk about that here in a couple of minutes too, to kind of help us out. Okay. So we say it's easy, but yeah, but how do we do it? All right. What's the deal here? So many people get hung up on how do I do that when they still haven't decided what they want. You don't need the how yet because you haven't decided on the what. Don't, I, it doesn't matter, you know, how you're going to lose the weight if you haven't decided what are you going to do, which is I'm, I'm going to lose, you know, Boom, boom, and and lose something. I had a guy talk to me once about that, which was interesting. He says, uh, he says, think about that. He says, when you lose things, what do you try to do? Try to find them. You lost your keys, try to find your keys. You lost your shovel, you try to find your shovel, whatever it is. So he's he's like, change that lose weight to get rid of, which I heard you talk about earlier, Tracy, which is great. And sometimes it's just, it gets this that little mental trick that we use for ourselves to say, okay, I'm not losing it. I'm getting rid of it. That's gone. It's just like the boxes in the garage. Boom. Those are gone and they're not coming back, you know? So, so think about that. So first commit to the what, the how will come. You'll figure out the how once you have the what. It's the what. And again, I'm going to encourage you to write things down. We things go, we, they circle in our mind and we just get lost in that circle and we never move forward. We don't take action because we're still circling. Once you get it down, you write it down on paper. It changes everything. It got it cleared up and now you can figure the other parts out. Okay. So no, not sure how to do something. You're not sure how to get started. You're not sure where to go. Hey, success leaves clues. Ask someone who's already done it. Find somebody at the gym that's already lost 100 pounds. They'll tell you how they did it. Uh, take somebody's seminar. Take somebody's workshop. 
read their book, take them to lunch, call them on the phone. There's, I'll guess that there's nobody listening to this right now who, if somebody, you know, sent them a, a, an email or a text or called them or just met them in the hallway who said, hey, I really admire how you handle blah, blah, blah. I really love how you have managed to do whatever it is. Can, can I get 15 minutes? I'd love to talk to you about that and how you do that because I think you're amazing. There's not a one of us who wouldn't say, well, I'd be happy to talk to you. You know, <laughs> I'm glad just, you asked. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding? Sweet. We should talk. Hey, you know, I love people it. are willing to share. They really are. Don't be intimidated. And not to mention that. anything you want, you can query on, you know, Google how to X, Y, or Z right. if you're an introvert and you don't want, I love the idea of asking someone, I love this slide, but I'm also saying yes. And right, once you connect with that person, know that your resources are endless at the mm -hmm. tip of your you know, phone, basically. And again, this is kind of like you talked about. It's, it's about taking action. It's just reaching out and finding out, Hey, there's somebody who can help me. They can be, you know, <laughs> they can be helpful to me. All right. So now you're excited. Everybody's excited. It's like, all right, I'm going to start my days off. I'm going to hit my Sundays. <sighs> what happens a week from now or two weeks from now or three weeks now? How do I, how do I maintain the momentum? Again, this is easy too. You just have to do it. Get yourself an accountability partner. Uh, and I can explain it. It's in the book. Uh, send me an email. I'll explain what that means. Uh, Get yourself in a mastermind. Masterminds are great because there's so many people who have done that and have ideas that you hadn't thought about. That's why they're, it's like a free coaching thing. Uh, you know, getting that. Now, some masterminds they charge for, depending on what it is, but you can put your own together. If you don't have the money, surround yourself with people who can move you forward. Get in a mastermind. Find, ask somebody to mentor you. Maybe there's a mentor. Something that, that Trace and I are going to do here next month we're going to talk about a vision board. Vision boards are huge at helping you reach your goals. Get a coach, you know, again, get somebody who says, all right, I, I'm going to have you help me get where I need to be. And whatever I can do to help, I am happy to help, you know, send me an email. We'll talk about where, where you go and how, how we're going to get you there. That's, I love watching people realize how powerful they are. That's just something I love. I love it. And Bob, because this is called Bigger Than Me, I like to stress the importance of the people that are on my show. So if someone wanted to get help from you, a not only a, a, a coach, but a Navy SEALs of coach, <laughs> high sure. performance coach, they're going to find you at palmermotivation.com. Right. palmermotivation.com or bob at palmermotivation.com. There you go. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's my question. Did you learn something that did you learn something that you can use today? Immediately. And I and I think I know this stuff. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Do I have your you're okay to give you some free stuff then, real quick? Totally. Yes. All right. Here's your free thing. So if you want the book, nice. All I'm asking is you pay shipping and handling, and I will shoot that in the mail to you. You can find that out at polarmotivation.com. All right. It's on the home page. It's right down there. And then uh, uh, did I mention it was free? <laughs> just uh, listen I'm, we're, we're, listen uh, this slide right here send me this deck this slide i'm actually going to show because we're going to do this we're going to do this this thing like this is my new series like i'm literally going to maintain the you know how to achieve your best most successful powerful file power for year yet so no matter who and whatever resources are out there i'm adding yours as a resource that i'm going to show on every show. They just asked me to do a recording for the radio, for the studio. Oh, and so send me, send me this and I will absolutely, um, yes, include right. this throughout the year. Guys, now is the time to start because by the end of the year, you're going to literally have your best year yet. It's going to, it's a great time of year. January is a great time. That's why, that's why you see all the ads for Weight Watchers and everything exactly. else because they know people will say, okay, it's a new year. I'm doing it this year. Now here's your chance. We'll help you get there. Here's another thing that I just love. Okay. So I'm, I'm certified uh, from Barrett values people up out of Canada. Understanding our values is huge for us because our values, they're like the silent motivators that drive our behavior. It changes our understanding and, and it helps us with our relationships, our decision-making, our self-confidence. It's all driven by our values. So if you, again, you go out to palmermotivation.com and just under the free book, you'll see this area. It says, 
take the free quiz. It's like a five minute quiz. I don't get the results. You're the only one that gets your results. I will get a notification saying that you took the quiz, but I will not see the results. And then if you want to talk about those results afterwards, get in touch with me and we'll go over them and we'll explain what we got going. We'll set something up. But, uh, yeah. but and, we, and for people who may not be clear, we do something similar as a certified success coach. They have, we were all certified with DISC as well. So the DISC oh, right. mm -hmm. being able to do the assessment about the motivators and all that stuff and the behaviors, it's huge. It is, it is absolutely. If you, so mm -hmm. if you're not sure if you need a coach, take the assessment and call Bob. Right. Right. We <laughs> or call to, Tracy, either one of us, but yeah, get some, there are people out there who want you to get what you want, whether it's yeah. again, it's a relationship that you've never had, or it's a position, a job you've never had or whatever it is. There's people out there who want to help. And Tracy and I are just, we're just a couple of them. And that's what I got. So I'm at Bob at PalmerMotivation.com. Tracy, thanks so much for just letting me be here. It's been an absolute treat. I'm going to turn this deck back over to you. There you go. Oh, you're, you're muted there, Tracy. Bob, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I hope, yes. that, I hope that made a difference. I hope that helps. It, it is, like I said, it is foundational for the work that we're leading. I'm going to show this slide one more time just to get people excited. One last time. This is the, let me swap this out. You can see that full screen. This is about achieving your best most successful and powerful year yet, right? I brought Bob Palmer in because he's written a book with the, all the foundationals, everything you need, a roadmap and a workbook. So we know what to do now. The thing we're gonna help you with is we're gonna bring, we're gonna stay connected with you. We're gonna bring that accountability back. We're gonna continue to bring people back and Bob can come any day, every time you want, anytime you want, because there's so many other questions that we can ask about why it doesn't work. So Bob, I'm gonna stop, stop sharing this again. I just wanted to make sure people are clear. This is the beginning of something absolutely beautiful. It could, I, this could easily be, and can you imagine if you had your just best year yet, you would be like, holy smokes, that wasn't <laughs> that hard. All I needed was somebody to help me and show me where I need to go. And, and that's what we're here for. I like it when you say holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cute. Thank you for that. So Bob, can I, do, do we have time? We, we got like 10 minutes? You got five minutes? What do you got? I got, I got like, if, yeah, I, I got probably 10 at the most. To totally. I got a, I got a jet. Yeah. So I'll plan for five. I'll plan for five to seven. Okay. I'll make, right. make it quick. So my question to you is I'll plan for three. I'll, I'll make it quicker, right. even quicker than that. You like that? So um, what is that one thing? So people have said, I've thought about it. I've talked about it. I've tried it. Would you agree with me that it isn't just the doing take action? So do you know, Mel, we were talking about Mel, um, Robbins, no Robbins, right, right. So she had the five, four, three, two, one, like just mm -hmm. do it. And now she has a new book out called the high five. And she's basically saying, wake up in the morning. just like your top 10 high five, your high five yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. And, and, and then do the 10 things that do what Bob just talked about. Identify those top three things that you're going to do today. Right. That is going, that are going to uh, uh, allow you to move right. towards your goals. Keep it simple. Just do the work. Mm -hmm. and, and it really is. It's, it's only as, it's as hard as you want to make it. It's not hard, but it's, it's, it's just intentional. It's saying, this is important to me. I'm going to make it happen. You know, it's, it's just like somebody, again, I'm going to pick uh, the people who are, they just run late all the time and everybody knows they're late. Is that, that's who you're being. You're doing that on purpose. If you want to change that, you it's simple. A bunch of people are on time. You can be on time. You just have <laughs> right. to, you know, I, I use and, and people forget. We walk around with these devices that totally. say they have alarms in them. <laughs> yes. I use the alarms all the time to remind me, hey, don't get wrapped up in this thing. You got to go here. You've got a meeting or you got to go right, someplace right, else. Right, right, I right. use them all the time. And I think a lot of people, you know, are getting better out, you know, telling Alexa they want to. Set the right. timer. Schedule this, plan that. Or whatever. Yeah. But get, exactly. Get Getting used out to the using technology. It'll help you. Yeah. I love it. Well, Bob, for me, I am always blown away by you. 
I feel like I have been with the Navy SEALs of coaches. Uh, You know, coaches need coaches. And so I will be checking in with you on my progress. Thank you very much. You and lovely Di, Lady Di. We're going to bring her back in to talk about her book too. Do you happen to have it handy? I do, I do. She's. uh, What is her book called? It just got released. And we love Di. Lady Di is what you used to call her. My lovely bride is what you used to say. I'm like, does she have a name? (laughs) She does. Diane is her name, yeah. But yeah, she was just a partner. She got asked to be on this, uh, the book on joy. And uh, she has a chapter in here that Mm. is, in fact, it's a great time to to start this because her chapter is something that we do all year long. And then it culminates on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, depending on what we got going on. But it, we plan it all year, and then boom, we look back on our last year on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. And um, I haven't read any of the other chapters in this book. I've only <laughs> read Dice. <laughs> but it's a bestseller, I see. It's it an a- international bestseller. I mean, this thing rocked it. So yeah, get this book too. The book I love it. On so- Joy. Right. There you go. The book of joy, baby. And the book on joy. Oh, the book on joy. On joy. Right. And don't forget Bob Palmer's book with Diane, Twist the Throttle to Fuel Your Success. Thank you so much, Bob. You're amazing. Thank you. Appreciate it. You take care. I'm looking forward to next time. It's going to be the best year yet. <laughs> yes, the best, will. most successful, powerful year yet. <laughs> Bingo. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.